Hi guys and welcome back to CJ Explores. Today we're on a bullet train from Harbin West Railway Station to Beijing and it's going to take us about seven and a half hours but we're going to travel over 1200 kilometers. I'm very excited, it's my first bullet train experience. Welcome to the vlog. Okay, so we are just about to board the bullet train here in Harbin and it is this long. Um, we're situated in a seat with a table um, facing some other passengers. Uh, there's no power points on board, but it seems pretty comfortable and it seems pretty modern. The toilets look very nice. Um, it's very cold here, so I'm going to go and show you inside. So uh, soon after we have left Harbin, the train attendants are going up and down the walkway and they're picking up all the rubbish that people have dropped and fixing people's bags that are on top of the racks up here, making sure nothing's hanging off. And now that they've done that, they're just going past and checking everyone's tickets. We're about to have our tickets checked while Charlotte is looking out the window at the beautiful scenery outside. It looks like farm fields and we're quite yeah, it's a very snowy landscape. We're elevated up on a uh, rail which is probably about 5 metres off the ground, 10 metres off the ground maybe. And yeah, it's going fast. Okay, so we are on second class and we booked our tickets through China Highlights. They arranged it all. When we got to the station, we just had to collect our tickets. I'll just give you a rundown of how you read them. So our train number is D102 and here is our gate number. We have here our arrival station which is Harbin West and our destination is Beijing. Um, here it's telling me the date, 13th of January 2020, we're departing at 10.43, um, carriage 11 and seat 14D for myself and 14F for Corey. Okay, so we are a couple of hours in now on the train. I've noticed that the temperature is getting higher the further south we go. Uh, it's gone from minus 14 degrees, and we're currently at minus 9 degrees. So, um, comfortability of this train, I've noticed also, compared to especially the uh, trains that we took through Russia, they were quite bumpy. This one is going three times as fast, nearly and it's much smoother. I've been able to take a nap. You can put your drinks on the table in front of you and they don't slide around, they just stay still. Uh, yeah, it's very smooth traveling. Charlotte's used the toilet and said that was quite an experience as it was a squatting toilet, um, but she did mention that it's very clean and the uh, attendants on the train, they <coughs> frequently come up and down the aisles cleaning and also cleaning in the toilets. Okay, so it's lunchtime on the train. And we've got an avocado and we've got some bread. What a treat. Now the other options are noodles and there's also hot water. So if you wanted to bring your own food that was dehydrated, you could make your own food on the train with some hot water. So we have about two hours left to go. 
sun starting to set. Nice big window, so just been looking outside most of the time. It was a really flat landscape earlier, but now we're getting more mountains. It's a bit more interesting to look at. There's been a few stops on the way, but looking forward to getting to Beijing soon. Our next train we had to book first class because they'd all sold out of second class and thirds. So we're excited to go and check out what first class will be like. I think which means we have two seats to ourselves, a bit more space. So stay tuned for that one, we'll show you what it's like from there. Okay, so that is the end of our first Chinese train experience at 6.30 p.m. here in Beijing. And the train arrived bang on time. They're very efficient, everything's very clean. Um, I hope that you've learned everything you need to know about these Chinese trains. Our next one we're taking is a first class bullet train from Beijing to Xi'an. So we're very excited about that. Be sure to subscribe so you can see what that one's like. See you later guys, bye.